Next on Wood Songs, she's truly a legend in the world of music, Judy Collins. I will sing a morning song like a sparrow in an oak tree till a dream says... And special guest Ari Hest. Way before the family is awake, I'm gonna lay me down at the foot of the water and spill out all my troubles for everyone's sake. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by Kentucky Tourism. Information for families, fans, and corporate conventions about the bluegrass state of Kentucky is online at KentuckyTourism.com. By the Big Ass Fan Company, manufacturing industrial sized fans for warehouses, ranches, schools, corporate offices, and the military worldwide. By the Martin Guitar Company in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, making handcrafted acoustic guitars since 1833. By VisitLex.com, providing information and activities to visitors of historic Lexington, Kentucky, the home of the Woodsong's Old Time Radio Hour. Here on the Louisiana Hayride, his name is Hank Williams. The best in the from the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. <laughs> Hi, this is Bruce Horns. Hi, this is Kevin Moe. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hucker, Michael Jonathan. Welcome to the beautiful, the historic, 
Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're broadcasting all over the world. We're so grateful that you could join us on our celebration of independent and grassroots music. Artists come from everywhere to be on our stage here. You don't have to be famous. You just have to be really good to be on Wood Songs, and certainly that is the case with the artist that we are dedicating this entire broadcast to. He is a brilliant uh, uh, younger generation singer-songwriter. She is one of the true legends of popular music. Her voice is instantly recognizable worldwide. They have a, a CD that uh, they did together here recently. They're going to sing the title cut to that album. It's called Strangers Again. We're very honored to have them both here. Ari Hest and the amazing Judy Collins on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Thank you so much. We're going to sing the title song from... Strangers Again, and of course it was written by the great Ari Hest. <laughs>
Title cut to her album, Strangers Again. The incredible Judy Collins on our broadcast. Judy, it's nice to have you back. Thank you for oh, this. I'm so happy. I love this show. I love everybody. It's a great show. Very, very important to all of us. Something that's very important, and not a whole lot of artists do this anymore, and you have sort of, it's part of your legacy in opening up your audiences to younger and newer performers. You, you let them tour with you, open for you, and you've done this with scores and scores of artists in your career. Why, do you, why is that generosity part of you? But you know, I was, you probably know, I was raised in a musical family. My father had a radio show for 30 years. And, and I think fundamentally I'm a fan, so it's a privilege to find someone so talented as Ari Hest and be able to make some music together and do some touring together. I, I think it's just in my DNA. <laughs> and now the idea of duets is, is, a, is a becoming a trademark of yours because the album Strangers Again, you just performed the song that Ari wrote, which by, by the way is a beautiful, beautiful song. It comes, it comes from an album of duets. You picked all kinds of, of your favorite uh, performing partners, and the entire album is, is you and, and Don McLean, and you and somebody else, and all, all the entire album is that way. It's, I reached out to a lot of friends. Some I knew, some I didn't. Um, you had Ma Michael McDonald, Mark Cohen, Willie Nelson, uh, Jeff Bridges. You even had Jackson Brown on there because you couldn't get Randy Newman. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Randy said he was too embarrassed to sing with me. And it's okay. It, he writes great songs. And he wrote this great song that Jackson sang, which is from a, a theater piece called Faust, which Randy wrote. I had never heard it. I don't know. But Strangers Again, which we just sang you, is Ari's song. And I found it in his discography. And I said, we have to sing that. It's a gorgeous song. And I have to get it done before Diana Ross gets her hands on it. <laughs> now... Songwriting is something that, uh, that, that you do, that, that you, you are a brilliant songwriter. We're going to get into one that you wrote with Ari, but it was Leonard Cohen back in the day who encouraged you to not just sing traditional songs in other people's music, but to actually start writing your own. Yes, he, he and I have a lot of gratitude one for the other because without his saying that to me, he asked me, he said, why aren't you writing your own songs? I said, I don't know. Because you are. <laughs> well, we're about to find out why you writing songs is so good. You and Ari have teamed up on a brand new album. The entire album is Ari Hest and Judy Collins. The CD is called Silver Skies Blue. This is an example of Judy Collins songwriting uh, with Ari as a partner. This is a tune called I Choose Love. It's Judy Collins and Ari Hest on the Wood Songs. <laughs> Old time radio. Yeah. 
return much given Thought mostly of me Didn't want to notice What isn't hard to see What's easier to actualize And rarely smoke at all To choose love Beautiful song to a beautiful brand new album called Silver Skies Blue. It's Judy Collins, Ari Hess together for the entire album. And Judy, I mean, picking the songs for an album like that must be a, a, a joy in disguise of the, of the pressure of coming out with something wonderful because there's so many of these great songs that you two perform together. Oh, it's, it's lovely, lovely and a great change. I've never done anything like this in my career, so it's a pleasure and it's challenging and... Uh, Ari is a wonderful writer, just amazing. So to be in the same room writing songs together is, is very special. And you're backed up by the incredible concert pianist, Russ Walden. Yeah, it's so nice to have Russell. him here. Good to see you again, Russ. A pleasure to be here, Michael. And roads, roads of people's lives turn different. I mean, when you were a, a young girl, you were sort of a, a concert pianist in training. At 13 years old, you did your first uh, performance as a concert pianist, and you discovered folk music, and your, your piano teacher just did not like that at all, did he? She, uh, she. she was a great, this ferocious Dutch-Italian conductor of major symphonies around the world. First woman to do that. She was a pioneer. And I had to go to her and say, um, I was studying a lot of things, and I'd played Mozart. Now I was studying a Rachmaninoff concerto, and I said, well, instead of learning da 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 I was going to learn versions of Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. And uh, she used to come and see me and come to see me at Carnegie Hall, and she'd come backstage and take my hands in hers and say, oh, little Judy, you really could have gone places. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have experiences? You had a very interesting background, too, that changed. I had a, a piano teacher when I was a kid who, you know, I, this is going back to when I was seven or eight years old. And I, you know, my parents forced me to take piano lessons. I wasn't really that interested, although I, I started to, to in, enjoy it a, a bit. But I, I thought because I had a teacher who was very old that it wasn't cool to play piano. So I stopped for a long time. And not until high school I picked up a guitar and that was that. And was instead, that. Of, uh, instead of piano, what did you do as a teenager? I played a lot of baseball. That's what I did. He was, he was going to be Derek <laughs> Jeter, right? <laughs> right. Well, one of the nice things that you get to do together is perform a lot. And I know you, that, uh, that Ari, you perform with Judy on the road quite a bit as well as your own concerts and putting out your own stuff. And here is a special treat for our audience. They're going to perform a song that is not recorded by them anywhere. It's a beautiful tune called Helplessly Hoping. It's Ari Hest with the incredible Judy Collins on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Our 
Russ Walden on the piano, Ari Hest on the guitar, and singing with the amazing Judy Collins, our guest for the entire broadcast on the show. And Ari, you uh, you, you put out uh, several albums on your own. You're, you're working on your your next project as well. I mean, but being able to do a duet album with someone as legendary and recognizable as Judy Collins, I mean, one of the most recognizable voices in the world, and then here you are next to hers on an entire album. That for some that can be daunting. It, yeah, daunting, I don't know if it's the, the perfect word for this experience, but you know, I met Judy three years ago, and I, I certainly never expected our uh, you know, doing shows, one show together to turn out to be making a whole album together, and you know, every day I'm, I'm waking up excited to be part of this whole thing. Well, having someone as generous as Judy Collins as your friend must be very, very nice. It's easy. <laughs> Now, Ari, you, uh, you're, you're quite a great uh, guitarist as well as a fine singer-songwriter and, 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 a, uh, and a performer on your own. Give us, a, give us 30 seconds of your guitar style since you've oh. got your, your instrument out there. Well, okay. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I didn't have a guitar teacher. I kind of learned to play myself, so I have kind of a strange uh, fingering where I, I keep my Well, in that case, we're going to get, get the cameras really close <laughs> on your fingers so we can see this. better when it's in tune. So I gather, uh, I gather that song is called Tuning While I Am Playing. That's exactly Is that the name it. of the song? That's the one. Hey, speaking of songs, you've got this wonderful album out. It's you and Judy Collins together. The beautiful album is called Silver Skies Blue. We're going to get to a song right now that Ari wrote, and we get to hear uh, Judy's magnificent voice on this thing. It's called The Wait. It's Ari Hest with Judy Collins on the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Down at the foot of the water 
And spill out all my troubles for everyone to see You can't have love when you never can surrender I've been spreading around my anger like a plague I have sailed this far with my boat on fire Fighting flames each day too stubborn to expire I will soak my soul Let the river take control The river take control I know it's not too late To let go the way To let go the way On their brand new CD, Silver Skies Blue. It's singer songwriter Ari Hest, the amazing Judy Collins. We're going to get back to both of them. We're going to talk to Judy Collins about her voice, how she keeps this incredible instrument so elastic after so much performing. And wait till you meet this week's Wood Songs Kid. We'll be back right after this. Hi, this is Kenny Loggins, and you're listening to folk singer Michael Jonathan and the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And thank you, Kenny Loggins. Welcome back, everybody. We are broadcasting from our home theater, the beautiful Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're at the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music, the gateway city to the beautiful Appalachian Mountains. We're broadcasting from Australia to Ireland, New Zealand to New York, Yuma, Arizona to the Yukon in northern Canada, over 500 radio stations around the world. We're also broadcasting on American Forces Radio Network. That puts this broadcast with Judy Collins on the air, on the radio in 173 nations. We're broadcasting also on into every single military base in the world, every U.S. naval ship at sea, every Coast Guard vessel sailing in North America, and as always, we want to say hello to all the men and women out there, the families, especially the families. Those families sacrifice a lot. Wood Songs is also available in schools. If you are a teacher, if you're a homeschool parent, these broadcasts are available to you with lesson plans. Middle school, high school, college level lesson plans. And all of this amazing music and the instruction and lesson that goes with it is available to you, your family, your students, your classes. And that brings us to the very special part of our broadcast that I look forward to every single week. We invite a youngster on our show from somewhere in America to come perform 
one song in the presence of sometimes legends and brilliant artists like Ari Hest and Judy Collins, as we do tonight. And we found someone in our own home state from Mount Vernon, Kentucky. Please welcome 11-year-old Maya Hunt. Beautiful Maya. So, Maya, it's nice to have you here. What grade are you in? I'm in fifth grade. And you love to sing, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to do something for us. You're, you're going to sing a cappella, no instrument, no guitar, no mm -hmm. nothing. So that's, that's a brave thing to do. Have you done that before? Yes. And, and you like it enough to do it on wood songs, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the song that you're going to sing. What's it called? Scarlet Town. And, and what's the song about? I don't really know. Well, okay. <laughs> But you like it, right? Yeah. yeah. You're just 11. You don't have to know what it's about, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to sing it to us uh, a cappella, mm -hmm. just you and your voice. I want everybody to get ready. So she's 11 years old. Her name is Maya Hunt from Mount Vernon, Kentucky, and she's performing Scarlet Town. Well, buddy, I went down to Scarlet Town. Yeah, never been there before. Yeah, you slept on a feather bed and I slept on the floor. Well, I don't mind lean old time or drinking my coffee cold. But the things I seen in Scarlet Town didn't mortify my soul. Yeah, look at that deep well. Look at that dark grave ringing that iron bell in Scarlet Town today. Well, I spent some time in New Orleans, then came across a band. Yeah, Scarlet Town brought me down as low as I ever been. On the day I came to Scarlet Town, you promised I'd be a bride. But you left me here to ride away like a holly on a mountainside. Now you may hide in Scarlet Town for a hundred years or more. But the man who knows what time it is is knocking at the door. So fare you well, my own true love, if you ever see me around. I'll be looking through a telescope from here to Scarlet Town. Yeah, look at that deep well, look at that dark grave, ringing that iron bell in Scarlet Town today. <laughs> Eleven-year-old Maya Hunt. We are on our broadcast having a wonderful time with two incredible artists that Maya Hunt just performed for. And they're going to sing the title cut to their brand new album that they've done together. It's called Silver Skies Blue. It's Ari Hest and our friend Judy Collins on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour.
in your poor embattled mind. I will touch you on the heart so your body you can find. And you turn around and see me lying next to you. I'll color your silver skies blue. I'll color your silver skies blue. The title cut to their brand new album, Silver Skies Blue, written by Ari Hest and written by Judy Collins. So Judy, let's talk for a minute. You just heard young 11-year-old Maya Hunt, and the music business that she is growing up into is much different than it was even five years ago, no less 10 or 20 years ago. So what what advice would you give a young girl like, like uh, Maya when she's in a world where there's no record stores and, and CDs are getting harder to sell and, and it's just different? You know, we've, we've always had great songs, we've always had tradition, we've always told stories, but we haven't always had record stores, we always haven't had internet, we haven't always had record companies, but we've always had great stories. This is a great ballad. It's very strong. And I, I think, first of all, you have to be a little bit crazy to go into the music <laughs> business, but other than that, you look fine to me. And I think that you, you have, obviously you have the intelligence and the passion and the voice. So you've got it all. What can I say? Go for it. That's good advice, Maya. And one of the things that Judy Collins is really, really good at is picking brilliant musicians to perform with her. And she has that here on tonight's broadcast in the person of Russ Walden at the piano. Oh. Yes, he's and you and Russ have been performing a he long been, time together. Oh my, he keeps track. How many years is it? Let's say um, over two decades. Over, over two decades. Oh, that's over very two decades. Diplomatic and. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sure Judy, Judy, I want to show off your taste in uh, musical accompaniment by giving Russ a chance to play 20 or 30 seconds of something absolutely brilliant Ooh, oh on good. his piano. <laughs> no pressure there. No, no, no. Go, go right ahead. Well, we'll play a little swing. That's who Judy Collins picks to tour with her. Another thing, Judy, I wanted to ask you, your voice today is at least as elastic and wonderful as it was decades ago when you were first starting out. So what do you do to keep your vocal cords in condition? To, because because the, you, your breath control is amazing. You can hold a note forever and on pitch and perfectly intonated. So everybody's going, how the heck does she do that? Well, I'm lucky, first of all. I was born with the instrument and then I had learned through pitfalls and various uh, ups and downs how to take care of it. And I found a great teacher whose basic uh, education to me was to teach me about something called bel canto. It simply means beautiful singing, doesn't it? I mean, in Italian. But what it, what it has to do with is, is the lyric. I mean, Ari is a beautiful singer, clear singer, and, and understandable. You, you hear, you understand every word he sings, and I was taught that that is a sign of great singing, that if you can hear it and you can understand it and the phrasing is clear. So that's the reason. Plus, you know, I take care of myself. And that's really where the work is. <laughs> well, the work has paid off because your voice is beautiful. 
Let's go ahead and listen to this uh, beautiful voice of yours from their brand new CD, Silver Skies Blue, with uh, Russ Walden, the pride of Santa Fe, on the piano, Ari Hest and Judy Collins performing Drifting Away on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio House. It's a beautiful album of brilliant songwriting called Silver Skies Blue, brand new by Ari Hest, a guest on our broadcast along with the wonderful Judy Collins. And Judy, you took control of your career and your, your recording process and stuff when you started Wildflower Records, your own record label, and you've been in ownership of what you've done. I, I'm very happy that I did that. I did it out of desperation, truly, because... You know, the music business was changing, the record labels were changing, and uh, I was sick of having those lunches with CEOs who promised me the world and then dropped my album over the cliff. I said, I could drop it over my cliff the same way, much more easily. Do it easily. yourself, it's cheaper. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the, you know, they, I have to say, I ha they did wonders for us, the record labels. They learned how to market records. They did wonders. They had did wonderful things. Electra, Atlantic, uh, uh, Vanguard. And you know, time changes and people change. But anyway, I had to do that. And I had to start my album, my record. But uh, autonomy is, is nice, being vested in your own music, having equity and owning your own masters. That's something that most artists don't get when they sign to a, a record label. And this is something that you have. Well, I had 25 years of not having that. All those, those records of those periods were sold into, well, some kind of uh, illegal uh, ownership. And so I can't ever get them back, but I, I 
things changed, and then I gathered a lot of things together. And uh, so, yeah, it's good. And the the more important thing is to do what you want and fight for it. There you go. And you were speaking of which you you were there when uh, at Newport when Bob Dylan went electric. I mean, there was an example of someone who was fighting to do what they wanted, doing it their way, in spite of. The, what the world or record labels, or even in his case, the audience wanted of him. He was doing it his own way. And you're very much doing that yourself by maintaining ownership of your recordings and putting them out on Wildflower Records. And we've both done that. Ari's done amazing things with his records and his, and his music. And he's taken control in a lot of ways. I think his uh, 12 Mondays is one of the examples of that. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, you know, it's funny because my career doesn't have the, the same span, obviously, as yours, but we've, we've talked, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've, uh, we've discussed, we've actually both been, been uh, on a certain label, which will re remain unnamed, and, oh. then, and then let go of. <laughs> yes, we're rejects from uh, one of the big guys. Yeah, so I have had a, a, a taste of the same... Uh, the same thing, and, and it's, it is a, a, a blessing to have uh, control over my masters, and, and really what she's talking about, you know, having control over your, your artistry, is a, it's a big deal, because if you have somebody in the, the studio with you telling you how uh, they want you to sound, that's never a good thing. Uh, and that has happened to, to, to me, I don't know about you, but it, it has happened to me before, and I'm glad it's Never not happening again. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Never again. That sounds like the title of a good album that you should put out. Never again. Speaking of which, one nice thing that Judy has that, uh, that uh, is the envy of most artists that are, have uh, turned to the independent world is she has had massive worldwide global hit records identifiable and performed still to this day on radio stations around the world. And she is going to perform one of them for us right now. A great way to end a full hour broadcast with these two great artists. It's Ari Hest and Judy Collins singing her huge hit. Someday soon on the Woods Songs, Old Time Thank Radio. Thank you, Michael. There's a young man that I know, his age is 21. Comes from down in southern Colorado. He's just and he's looking for his fun Someday soon I'm going with him Someday soon Her parents cannot stand him Cause he rides the rodeo They say he's not your kind He'll leave you crying But I would follow him right down The toughest I'm going with him someday soon And when it comes to call Her pie ain't got a good word to say I guess it's cause he was just as wild In his younger days So blow you old blue northern Blow my Just as wild in his younger days. So, so blow you old blue northern, blow my love to me. He's driving in tonight from California. He loves that damned old rodeo 
just as much as he loves me someday soon i'm going with him someday someday Wasn't it great having Ari Hest on our broadcast, along with the amazing Judy Collins. And this week's Wood Songs kid, 11-year-old Maya Hunt. Let me tell you something about perseverance. Let me tell you something about joy. Let me tell you something about the power of love, something that radiates from Judy Collins and her voice, this beautiful album that she's uh, done with Ari Hess, giving a younger performer a, a wonderful opportunity to be known worldwide on the heels, on the wings of her own career. Judy Collins, when she was 11 years old, contracted polio and had to spend months in the hospital. In 1962, she finally performs uh, a concert at Carnegie Hall and she's diagnosed with tuberculosis and she has to go into the hospital again. Right as her career was exploding, everything seemed like it was gonna get crushed and stopped. She even suffered bulimia after trying to quit smoking. Nothing has stopped this woman from showing her love for the music, for the audience, even the changes even the changes in the music business, and it reminds me of something that Vincent Van Gogh said a long time ago. He said, art is a form of faith, and it's the artist's duty to disregard everybody. And there's nothing more truly artistic than to love others. That's Judy Collins and her audience. That's Ari Hest and his. It's Maya Hunt and her new audience. It's you and your family and your living room couch and your front porch and your neighborhood. Use your music to share and to bring joy to other people. You can do it just like Judy Collins has. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I am a song farmer and we'll see you next week on the Woods Song. You've been listening to Woodsong's broadcast number 845. Michael's opening song was Autumn Song from the Song Farmer album featuring Isaac Mayo Mandolin and Bob Bryan on bass. Well, there's our show. I hope you had a good time. We sure had a good time making it. If you'd like to send me an email, I'd love to hear from you. My email address is michael at woodsongs.com. If you visit our website, there's a huge archive page of hundreds of past shows. While you're there, you can find out how you can become a song farmer. And speaking of the archives, here's a scene from one of those past shows now. We'll see you again next week on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Storm clouds are rising, there's no time to lose. Open up the window, let the dove fly in. Go gather the creatures all led by twos. Open up the window, let the dove fly in. Open up the window, no one. Closed captioning provided by the Deering Banjo Company.
The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by Kentucky Tourism. Information for families, fans, and corporate conventions about the bluegrass state of Kentucky is online at KentuckyTourism.com. By the Big Ass Fan Company, manufacturing industrial sized fans for warehouses, ranches, schools, corporate offices, and the military worldwide. By the Martin Guitar Company in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, making handcrafted acoustic guitars since 1833. By VisitLex.com, providing information and activities to visitors of historic Lexington, Kentucky, the home of the Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour.